1.4 maximum at 148. Outside the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. We're very excited. Handmade antennas spin on a bluff, searching for a signal out of this world. This is the main antenna that it's going to communicate with its base station as it traverses overhead. You should be able to rotate it. And while this type of science and math yeah, just that one. might make our heads spin. Good. Okay, hit it. It's a challenge. Seven, Lima November whiskey testing. Uh, we have two hours. 13-year-old Zeke Wheeler welcomes. Yeah. If there is a problem, we switch to our backup antenna. So it will work. As the International Space Station orbits high above the Earth. We just need to kind of tie it off. Down low, a crew of volunteers and family help set up the equipment on the bluff that will make Zeke's five-year-long mission of talking with the ISS come to life. This mission started when I was eight years old and I asked my dad, how can I contact an astronaut on the International Space Station? But he didn't know. So through research and determination, Open yeah. he found his answer in a ham radio. And if I got my ham radio license, I would be able to use it to talk to astronauts on the International Space Station. Among those helping today, I'm the muscle. <laughs> his grandpa, Whatever. Mark. It sends chills up my spine to see where he's at. In a digital world, sometimes the best connection is still analog. And what they didn't buy, they built. I made all of the 3D printed boxes and their buttons. But even with all that, they still needed a way to connect to outer space. But then we found ARIS, this, uh, the NASA's educational outreach program that does schedule calls between students or uh, organizations and an astronaut. With help from ARIS and his online charter school, Teach Northwest, they were given permission from NASA and a 10 minute window of time to talk with astronaut Sunita Williams. We've got a little less than two hours. And with the final checks in place. Have you tried powering up the, the ham and seeing if you can make contact and making sure it was finally work? time. Anyone assess, anyone assess, anyone assess. This is Kilo Juliet 7 November Lima Lima. Kilo Juliet 7 November Lima Lima. Let's go! After five years, <laughs> his mom watched as her son Zeke Yes, he did it. I'm so relieved. Had answered the one question he was determined to answer. Sunita, this is Kilo Juliet 7 November Lima Lima. It is a great honor to connect with you today. I, I read you five. He wasn't here to talk with Williams, though. He just wanted to prove that he could. And are you ready to receive questions? Yes, Tech Northwest. It's great to hear your voice, and I'm ready for questions. And with the signal established, he turned over the microphone to his online classmates, many of them he'd never met before. What is your mission while you were up there? Over. Hi, Elise. Um, our mission was actually to test the spacecraft while coming up here. And Wheeler had connected to space. What does your day-to-day -day look like at the International Space Station? During the day, we have all sorts of different activities, science experiments, medical experiments, maintenance. His classmates had talked with an astronaut. And with every question asked and answered, the 10 minute window closed. Thank you so much, Sunita, and we are about to lose contact. Zeke had proven to himself the possibilities of his imagination are endless. <laughs> I want to get more kids interested in hands on STEM and doing projects like this. What a smart kid, and he is not out, uh, done outsmarting us. He's actually a top 30 finalist in a national STEM competition for middle schoolers for a desktop sized satellite tracker that he built. That's oh my incredible. Gosh. Yeah, travel to Washington, D.C. next for week. For all of the pieces to come together, right? He had to have the parts, he had to print them together, his oh grandpa, and then the permission and NASA to connect the two. Oh, yeah. And then, yep. it's just incredible. Awesome. Yeah, right? Washington He's amazing. Great stuff. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.